Yo, what is good everybody? It's your boy Boone, can I ask you guys a brand new video. Today's video is gonna be so informative and helpful for a lot of you. I know I get asked this question so, so much. How do you get steals with Supreme? How do you find all this heat for the low Boone? How are you the steel god? I know all you trying to finesse them young shotties this year <laughs> at high school, maybe middle school, maybe even elementary school. I know my young hypey's getting it in early, like fourth grade. Y'all need to be fitted. I got you homies with some tips to get the Supreme for the low low. I'm the big plug on Instagram, so let me just give you a quick, easy way to get the Supreme for the low. Just go follow me on Seattle Select. Um, I'm always doing big sales of like FTP, Palace, um, Supreme, all that goodness vintage we kill it over on the page go follow me there um, but let's just jump into talking about all these tips I have one question of the day for you guys I need you all to answer in the comment section um, I just want to know how old my subscribers are let me know how old you are down in the comments I'm actually really curious about this because like my demographic on YouTube says it's around like 14 to 16 year olds but I'm curious to see like how old people actually are so please comment that for me I guess I can start us off by saying I'm 21 so I'm not back to school right now but I'm gonna help all the youngsters going back to school with some ways to get supreme for the low drop a like if you enjoy this video i swear there's going to be some good tips in this so stick around and enjoy the whole vid let's just jump right into it so in this video i'm going to talk to you guys about how to buy supreme for the low i'm only going to be talking about buying supreme i'm not going to be talking about like how to sell or anything like that or how to get money to get supreme so if you'd like to see a video like that let me know and i can totally whip one up in the kitchen for you guys one time but um, my number one like easiest tip to get supreme for the low and like a very good first starting tip is if if you're able to go steal that credit card from your mom fuck you doing on this video boy go to that purse right now go pull up on that thing Yoink. 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 get on the supreme website order everything get the stepping ladder i'm totally playing um do not steal your parents money that's not cool bro unless it's to buy stuff off my website then you can fully do that shit then it's 100 percent fine with me all right all right i'll stop with all the stupid ass jokes um so to start it off i do recommend always getting your supreme used i know some people might like just only want to get stuff brand new you're a weirdo and you're spending too much money if you want to do that like i buy all of my stuff used to be honest even my shoes are used my underwear is used my toothbrush is used bro i buy everything used i'm um, playing but i do recommend getting your supreme used but i do say that with a disclaimer before you buy anything online you should always ask a lot of questions and just make sure you're getting what you expect so ask about condition ask for pictures of like the graphic ask about like the um collar about like the arms if it's a long sleeve um look at the graphic ask for pictures of that just make sure you're getting what you expect look at the tags i have videos about how to legit check supreme if you want to be able to tell authentic tags from fake ones because there will be a lot of scammers when you're buying used supreme that's another tip i have for you all um, always buy stuff from people that have a lot of reviews or at least a decent amount of reviews also look through the reviews before you buy from them some people like will have some reviews saying they're a scammer another good way to tell if someone's a scammer is if they have a ton of pictures on their profile of tons of supreme like for the low that usually just like sets off a red flag also if they use different backgrounds and all their pictures means they steal photos if their pictures don't have a tag like with their at in it or whatever they they could also be scamming so just make sure you're buying safely online i might make a video on how to not get scammed because there's a lot of ways these scammers out here trying to finesse but i just wanted to put that out there so now we're going to teach you guys how to get the supreme used for the low so my favorite website to use is grailed um i've been buying stuff off grailed for years like literally since like 2014 i've bought stuff from grailed which is a crazy thing to think about that is such a long time but i love grailed as a website i am ip banned now so i don't buy from grailed anymore however i 100 percent recommend it. The things I like about Grailed is there's a really good seller base on there. Like there's not that many scammers. Like I said, I bought a ton of stuff from this website. Another good thing is you can filter like down to exactly what you want. You can look for Supreme, look for certain sizes. This is really helpful when you're trying to find certain brands and sizes that you like. Um, and then they just have like a really big market. Honestly, Grailed is like one of the most extensive Supreme markets, I'd say. So um, go here first. I'm going to put a video up on the screen right now on how to find some steals on Grailed. It's really simple. Honestly, just set your filters to like supreme look up supreme and just check often without a doubt a hundred percent the best way to find steals is these two tips right here one you have to know the market and just value of supreme t-shirts and i know that's hard to do um so if you're looking through supreme tees and you see something cheap always look it up on grailed grailed has a huge backlog of supreme and prices so go look at other listings for that item eventually over time of just looking up items and seeing what they're worth and seeing items on the marketplace you'll learn trends and learn 
market prices. This will help you so much with buying Supreme. Honestly, this is how I got really into reselling and good at it. You have to learn market prices on every Supreme shirt just by looking up the prices of stuff and seeing like the market values on Grail and websites like that. Over time, you will learn market prices and that will help you to identify the steals. That in itself is a huge advantage. If you're able to map out what is actually a steal, you can buy that item and eventually, even if you can't like wear that, if it doesn't fit you, you can learn to resell it. That's what I started doing personally, but I'm not gonna get into that. The second biggest thing you have to do is just check as often as possible. The reason you're probably not seeing these crazy steals online and asking me how I get these crazy deals is because your boy is out here 24 hours looking for the deals. Like, honest to God, it's kind of like thrifting. Like, the more you go and the more you check, the higher probability you have of getting the deals, which is obviously what you want. So if you're only like looking for steals like once a week, you're not gonna find like very good stuff. You never know when that item is gonna pop up online for the low low. I'm gonna be pulling up skirting on it, so you need to get to it quick. Always be checking. That's a big, big tip as well as knowing the marketplace. That's my two biggest tips for long-term success, but let's keep going with these tips. Honestly, there's a lot of Supreme t-shirts that still go for really cheap, especially the older ones. Uh, things like this Supreme Dancer tee are like 50 to $60. Uh, like this Supreme KRS tee, I got this for like $45. Uh, here we have like the Supreme You Still Suck tee. Uh, I think I got this for like 40 bucks. Like I'm telling you guys, there's so many older Supreme tees and when they've been worn a little bit, people just want to get rid of them and that's how you can get the crazy good steals. A Supreme t-shirt for $40 is basically retail. And look at this, there's literally like no flaws on it. It's just been worn by somebody else a couple times. There's like a couple pieces of like their dog hair on this shirt. That's like the only flaw. I'm telling you, buy used, buy older stuff. You will always come across people that just want to get rid of their stuff. They don't care about getting the most they can from it. Um, and that's the people you really get your steals from. If you're already familiar with Grailed and have used that before and think that's a lame tip, I apologize. I know that's kind of a basic tip. So I'd go recommend checking out like Bump, go check out Depop. Just in general, it's better to look at as many marketplaces as you can. I would say stay away from eBay. You can get some great deals from eBay. However, anything new with tags from eBay is likely gonna be fake. Um, a lot of fakes are made and sold on eBay. So if you're not good at legit checking, stay away from that. It is a very, very hazardous waste ground of scammers. Another thing I'd recommend is using the app Offer Up. I've never used this app personally. If you do end up using this app, I'd say go with like your parent to go meet up with people or go to a public place like a shopping mall, um, just somewhere where you're surrounded by a lot of people so nothing happens. I don't want my little booners to be getting robbed and shit like that. Um, but offer up, I've seen people send me some insane deals they've gotten from this app because again, people just want to get rid of their stuff. They don't want the biggest price they can get out of it. If you still have not learned anything from this video, I'd recommend starting to use Instagram and trying to buy stuff from there. Instagram, again, you got to be careful with scammers. Never do PayPal friends and family unless it's like an incredibly trusted seller like myself. I ask people for friends and family. For the most part though, I'd say only use goods and services. That way you're protected by PayPal's buyer protection program. Um, I go on like hashtags like Supreme for sale, stuff like that. And I just browse around and look for deals. When you're doing this, make sure you ask for feedback from people. And like I said, always buy um, PayPal goods and services. Besides that, I can't think of any other tips just off the top of my head. This video is me is kind of like free balling some ideas I had of ways to get Supreme for the low low for these back to school shotties you're trying to flex on. I know how it be in the high school. You gotta be flexing every day of the week. This video will help you for getting stuff super, super cheap. If you want a video on how to like sell stuff and things like that, let me know. I can totally do that. Just comment it down below as well as how old my youngins is. I need to know. Um, it's been your boy Boone. I hope you guys enjoyed. We are still out here on this upload streak, you guys. Like, God damn. I really be making myself look stupid in these outros. So as per usual, I forgot to rate an outfit, but I am back, baby. And let's look at these outfit pictures. Send in your outfit pictures to me, please, at boomfitpics at gmail.com. I want to rate your guys' outfits, so send them all in. Today, we got a feature from the homie from overseas. Shout out to all my international boys and girls. I'm not 100% how to say this name. I think it's like Zhuo, Zhuo, something like that. Some super nice sounding ass name. It's a dope name, bro. Um, but my man's got a dope outfit here. Honestly, like the upper half and pants of this, I absolutely love. And I wanted to include this photo just because that jacket goes crazy. I mean, it's still fuck palace because they blocked me. Um, but I do have love for that jacket. It reminds me a lot of the Supreme TNF jacket in a similar Barney colorway. The t-shirt with the palace spell outs around the collar is also just a classic. I absolutely love that shirt. Um, that combo looks amazing. Like the white on the triforks popping. The undershirt's not too loud or anything. I like the pants. I think the tones are sick, but these shoes, bro, for me personally, I've never liked any of the human races. I think it's like a cool idea behind the shoe. I love my boy Pharrell. I think he's super lit. And I think
think it's like a very out there and like creative shoe, but I don't like it personally. Let me know what you guys think of these shoes down in the comment section. I love the rest of this outfit though. I wanted to include this outfit because I've been doing a lot of outfits where like they're exact things I'd wear. And I'd wear a lot of this outfit except for the shoes. I'm curious what you guys think about it. Don't get me wrong though, the homie killed it on this outfit. I still think it looks super fresh. I love the photo as well. Like the background kind of has little hints of purple that match the jacket. Super awesome photo. Thank you so much for sending in your pictures, Joel. Joel, however you say your name, I hope I'm saying it right. Send your outfit pictures to boomfitpix at gmail.com and I'll let you guys go back into the video. 16K giveaway coming very, very soon. I promise to you guys, I'm just trying to make the video fire as fuck for when I drop that shit. I love you all. I'm out. Peace.